it was a good week for us. I mean, we it's tough to play somebody four games in a row. You're not used to that necessarily in softball, but it's good preparation for us moving into conference play when you're playing three game series. Uh, it just applies a lot of pressure to your pitching staff to have to get the same hitters out five, six, seven, ten times. And I thought, you know, our pitchers for the most part did a really good job of that this week. And, you know, Ali Floyd was the conference player, the pitcher of the week, and earned every bit of it with four shut, 14 shutout innings. And, and she's definitely, you know, risen to the top of that rotation as somebody that we can go to in multiple situations, especially in the extra inning game where she came in seven innings of relief and really shut them down and allowed our offense to find a way to get a run and win there. And that was huge for us. And then, you know, pitching staff, you know, Brooke Melinchuk pitched really well this weekend as well. And we got contributions out of uh, Madison Buster and, and, and uh, Lauren Manzina as well. And, and, and so, you know, Alyssa Martin. So, you know, I was happy with us. We're still, we're still finding, I know our numbers are, are decent on offense right now, but to be honest with you, we're, we're more explosive. We're still finding our way a little bit. Um, some of them on the offensive side, we're getting huge contributions right now out of, you know, Alexis Gilio and Caroline Eason and Elena Rogers playing really well. Claire Rayleigh's playing really well. And as soon as we get the contributions that we know some of our others are capable of, I feel our offense can, can really get going. And, and it was nice to see some struggles. We, we sat a few, you know, players that are uh, this, this weekend and, and sent some messages and how they handle those is, is it matters and, and one of the strengths of our team. And I've been saying it since the fall is our depth and we're allowed, you know, we're capable of doing that. We have the problem that, that we have, we've always dreamed of as, as a coaching staff since we've got here, which is depth and, and being able to plug and play and actually be a complete team. And I think we have people and you can see that happening with, you know, the emergence of, of Elena Rogers and, and, and some of these players coming in and stepping into roles and, and Gina Bafuto is playing really good at short, you know, and provides us that defensive element. And, and so it was nice to see our depth kind of shine a little bit this weekend and, and, and us, you know, play, you know, Laf at Lafayette in that environment was good for us as well. It didn't go the way we wanted, but I felt like it was a good environment for us to see and then be us, us being challenged in the four game series uh, really is going to prepare us in this upcoming week's tough week and going to really prepare us for Conference USA play.